Hello, good evening. Can everyone hear me? No. Yes. Hi, hello. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? How was your day? I'm very good. Very good. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. really awesome. I pray, thank you. You're fine. That's good. Mm, okay. It was hot today, wasn't it? It was hot today, isn't it? Estuvo caliente, right? Right. It's very hot today. It's been a hot day. Very hot. Very, very hot. I feel it very hot uh, from the midday down. So around like a three to four, it was kind of really hot for me. But then after four, around five, it started getting kind of fresh, a little bit fresh, a little bit. We are about to start. Casi comenzamos. Still missing just a couple of minutes. About two. How would you like to have the class? 50% English, 50% Spanish, or just English? How would you like it? Come on, let's 50%. go. 15, 50. All right. 50%. <laughs> All right. No problem. 50, 50. Okay. Yeah. All right. Awesome. So you are pre-intermediate. That's a really good thing. Congratulations to every one of you. Mm -hmm. This is not easy. We've been learning. So it's a. Uh, it's a. Pleasure a to meet you. For me as well. It's a pleasure to meet you. To everyone, right? So we are already on eight o'clock. So let's get it started because of the ones that are here on time. Vamos a empezar, ya que hay varios acá que están a tiempo. So as I just uh, write it, wrote it to you on WhatsApp, my name is Marta, right? Marta Campos, and I'm going to be with you through these four weeks. Eh, mi nombre es Marta Campos y voy a estar con ustedes durante estas cuatro semanas, right? Um, you can write to me at any time. You can do it on the group or you can do it um, private. It's up to you, the one that you like the most. And as well, well, most likely, uh, if I take a little bit longer to answer, don't worry, I'm going to answer for sure. But the thing is that I have a secondary job in the one I have to be connected from 12 midday up to 7.30 p.m. So time to time, I will go ahead and answer to you, but it's going to take a couple of minutes, right? But I will always answer. Um, siempre les voy a contestar. Si me escriben, pueden hacerlo privado o al grupo. Eh, puede que tarde un poco, como les comentaba. Me conecto, um, tengo un trabajo secundario, me conecto desde las 12 del mediodía hasta las 7.30 de la noche. So, eh, puedo contestar, pero me lleva un poquito de tiempo a hacerlo. ¿verdad? No es que no le vaya a contestar, pero siempre le voy a contestar. Eh, weekends, as well, you can write it to me on weekends. Si quiere escribirme el fin de semana, también hágalo. At night, you can go ahead and do it. También en la noche puede hacerlo. Most likely, I'm always up, up to 11, 11.30. Siempre estoy despierta hasta como a las 11, 11 y media de la noche. So if you have any questions, feel free to go ahead and ask the questions. Si tiene preguntas, siéntase libre de hacerlas, ¿verdad? Eh, no hay ningún problema. I was asking previously, how would you like to receive the class? You told me 50% English, 50% Spanish. Les pregunté hace unos minutos cómo le gustaría recibir su clase. Me dicen 50% inglés, 50% español, but I don't know if everyone's agree. Pero no sé si todos están de acuerdo. I'll hear you. Los escucho. Díganme. De mi parte está bien, teacher. 60, 60, 60. Mitad y mitad. 50-50. Okay. 
Who else? Someone else that would like to participate? Alguien más que quiera decir su opinión? De mi parte también está bien, chiqui chiqui, solo eh, pedirles sí, las indicaciones ya cuando estamos trabajando en grupo si las puede hacer en español. Definitivamente, sí. Right. Gracias. Someone else? Hola, buenas Hola. noches. Buenas noches. Hola. Eh, yo considero que sea 50 inglés y 50 español porque siempre eh, hay compañeros que les cuesta un poco más y que y a veces, bueno, le digo porque en el curso anterior en el que estaba, la, la teacher, buenísima, porque eso sí, buenísima, pero eh, la idea era que hablara más inglés porque así uno aprende más rápido. Eh, sin embargo, habían compañeros que les costaba un montón y no entendían nada, no hablaban, se quedaban en mudo, ¿verdad? no hacían ni el intento. Entonces yo creo que era por eso, porque no entendían. Entonces quizás, sí, como dicen las compañeras, no sugeriría que sea 50 español y 50 inglés, pero tal vez no mucho español, porque la idea también es que aprendamos más vocabulario. Right. Esa es mi opinión. Thank you. Who else? ¿Quién más? Well, a mí me gustaría eh, teacher, que sea eh, bastante participativo porque a veces eh, cuando nos dan la oportunidad de participar como que aprendemos más que, eh, eh, o, o sea tuvimos una ticha que, que no mucho participábamos y, y creo yo que eso es muy importante para nosotros poder practicar también la pronunciación ¿Quién más? No one else? Nadie más? No. 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 <laughs> She said no. <laughs> All right. All right. Not a problem. So thank you very much for the feedback. Les agradezco mucho. Gracias por esa retroalimentación. I will do my best in order that you can participate and talk the most as you can, right? Voy a hacer lo mejor que pueda para que puedan participar y hablen lo más que pueda, right? So let's see. Um, I want to share with you something just before that we get started. I'm going to share my screen. Please let me know if you're able to see it. Por favor, déjenme saber si lo pueden ver. ¿Sí lo ven? Yes. 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 Right. yes. I can see. You are able to see well, it. All right. It. Awesome. So that's really yeah, good. Well. Thank you very much. Yeah, every time that I will share my stream, I will be always asking to you if you're able to see it, right? Because uh, sometimes we got a little bit of problems with it. So let's see. Um, welcome officially to your pre-intermediate model watch. And as I said, I'm Marta Campos. You can talk to me like Marta or Ms. Marta or the one that you feel comfortable with. So let's see, uh, we have, before that we get into the, let's listen to the class like itself, let me share something with you. This is the scheduling. We are going to have four weeks from Monday to Thursday. Solo se apagan los micrófonos porque está interviniendo y no, casi no lo entiendo. I'm going to, I'm really sorry, so I'm going to mute everyone at the moment. Entonces, um, gracias, gracias por decirme, this is what I'm going to do. Esto es lo que voy a hacer. Eh, I'm really sorry, but I'm going to mute everyone, okay? Les voy a poner mute a todos, so we can go ahead and continue, right, with that. Let me check. There we go. Better, huh? Mejor, verdad? So let's see. Uh, we are going to have four weeks uh, that is going to be from Monday to Thursday. We started today and we are going to end on February the 19th. As well, uh, the first evaluation, as you might be aware, this is just for you to know. We are going to do it on February the 4th which is mean that you need to advance in the virtual platform. And the final evaluation, or which is mean your final evaluation in the virtual platform, it's going to be on February the 18th. Oh, I'm sorry, this one, it will be the 18th. Because we are going to be from Monday to Thursday. 
So on February the 18th, this is just a way for you to have, a, in this case, um, no escuchan. Alguien que me pueda decir? Si escuchan, no se escucha. Alguien que... Yes, 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 yes. Creo, creo que Jenny, Jenny de, este, debe activar lo que sería la entrada de audio en el dispositivo de ella para que pueda escuchar. Porque sí, sí se escucha clarito. Sí se escucha claro. All right. Um, Jenny, I don't know if you already listened to us. Ah, she already do it. Okay. Thank you. So let's see um, what we were saying, right? Uh, I'm sorry. So the final evaluation, it's going to be on Thursday, the 18th. This is for you to keep in mind, right? That you need to advance in your virtual platform to get your diploma. In the session number one, we are going to be doing some recap from the simple present of the B. Then in the number two, we got simple present. In the number three, we are going to be studying demonstrative and comparison adjectives. And in the number four, we are going to be studying the modal verb would plus ver plus two plus ver. And in the last one session or in the session number five, we are going to be studying present progressive and quantifiers. This is for you just to know what are we going to be in studying during the course and for you to be aware that you need to advance as much as you can in your virtual platform, right? Eh, I'm going to repeat it in, in Spanish. Se les voy a repetir en español. ¿verdad? Tenemos cuatro semanas para trabajar. Del día lunes, vamos a estar de lunes a jueves juntos. Eh, empezamos el día de hoy y vamos a terminar jueves eh, 18 de febrero. La primera evaluación va a ser este día 4 de febrero. Uh, sí, dígame, Denis. Sí, dígame, Denis. ¿Qué sucede? ¿No nos escucha? Well, he's connecting audio. Denis. Si, si no se escucha. Sí si se escucha, Lee. Si Yo se creo escucha. que tendría que activarlo, que activar el, el compañero, el audio. Sí lo miro en la cámara, pero no, 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 no nos contesta. Let's mm. go ahead and continue. He said that he said good night, so good night, welcome, Dennis. Um, este, tenemos para trabajar el día 4 de febrero, que sería la próxima semana, vamos a hacer el primer midterm exam y para la evaluación final la vamos a tener el jueves 18 de febrero. En la primera sesión eh, vamos a estudiar presente simple del B. Yo sé que ustedes ya lo vieron, solamente es una retroalimentación. En la sesión 2 vamos a utilizar presente simple nada más y en la sesión 3 vamos a tener demostrativos y comparativos, adjetivos comparativos. Y en la sesión 4 vamos a estudiar will más ver más uh, lo que sería más, más el verbo, más tú, más el verbo. ¿verdad? Y tenemos en la sesión 5 presente progresivo y quantifiers y cuantitativos. Entonces, eso es lo que vamos a estar viendo a través de las cuatro semanas, ¿verdad? Y el día de hoy vamos a empezar con lo que es el verb be o una aliment retroalimentación de lo que es el verb be. Eh, questions so far, comments, something that you would like to say, preguntas hasta acá, comentarios, algo que deseen decir. No, I think so. Everything is okay. You think everything is okay? All right. So everyone is okay? Yes? Yes. Okay, teacher. Yes, okay. Yes. All, right. All right. So if you wanted to have the presentation, please let me know. I can go ahead and send it for you. Si quieren tener la presentación, por favor, déjenmelo saber. Se las puedo enviar. So let's see. We are going to have verb B. For what are we have been using verb B? ¿Para qué utilizamos el verbo B? Does anyone remember or wanted to say? ¿Alguien lo recuerda o lo quiere decir? No, no remember. Oh. Yes, yes. Yeah. Remember. remember. You remember? Can I ask questions? Yes. ¿Les puedo hacer preguntas? Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. let's see. Um, let About me see who I see it that is distracted. She's, she's... Veronica. Veronica, tell me, 
How old are you? Mm. ¿Me puede repetir? Yes. How old are you? Mm. How old are you? For example, in yeah. my case, I'm 30. What about you? No, teacher, no, no comprendo. Your age. Your, Your age. age. How old are you? In my okay. case, I am 30, right? I am 30 years old. And you? How old are you? I am very old. That one it will be, how are you, right? That you are really good, that you feel good. Ese sería, how are you? My question is, how old are you? Choose someone that can help you. Que le ayude. In my case, I am 26 years old. You are 26, all right, thank you. Who else would like to participate? Veronica. I am your uh, 25. 25, all right. Uh, so you are going to say, I am? I am, I am 25, 25 years old. Years old. Excellent. Good job. Who else would like to answer the question? A quien más le gustaría contestar la pregunta? In my case, I'm 20 years old. You are 20. Awesome. Who else? Alguien más que le gustaría participar? I am 22 20 years old. years old. 25, 20 <laughs> years old. All right. It's like seeing, right? Like 20. I'm feeling old, <laughs> right? Me siento Good bien. I'm feeling old. old. <laughs> All right. Everyone is 20. <laughs> no, <laughs> <young>. <laughs> yeah. We are still young, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, yes, that, it was, that one, it will be a question with the verb be, right? Uh, let's remember that the yeah. verb be is for simple statements or for a state of being. Es para cosas simples o para estados, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, un estado es su edad. Usted la tiene por a largo de un año, ¿verdad? Al siguiente año, usted vuelve y renueva el tiempo, ¿verdad? Y conseguimos unos añitos más. So, let's see and let's get started. With the affirmative sentences, we have I am, and in this case, contracted form is I'm, I'm, I'm right? So that one, it is I'm. a little bit different. It's I'm, I'm, I'm right? I'm, 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 yes, I'm. With the you, you have you are in the whole form, and then for the contracted form, you can use your, your. Your, 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 yes. And this one, it will be whenever we are talking about someone else, right? For example, no. if there will be someone here, I will be talking about you, right? You. So okay. let's see. We have he and he is, that it will be the whole form. And we have his, 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 his. 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 As a him. short form, right? Or contracted form. Then we have she, that is for talking for girls, right? Oh, yeah. Only for girls. And we say she is. And we are going to have she's. 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 That one is the one that we have. And then we have it that we use it for things. For example, the cell phone, pencil case, or for animals, right? Lo utilizamos para cosas o animales. Únicamente it, right? So we have yeah. it is and the other one is it's. 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 Yes. It's. 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 That one is the ones that we had with affirmative sentences. For example, if I get started and I can say I am 30 years old. But if I ask Alejandra, how you will say, how am I say I am 30 years old for she, with she? I'm 23 years old. You are 23 years old. Si quisiera yeah. decir que yo tengo o ella tiene 30, ¿cómo lo diría? I'm 30 years old. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Ah, no. She is 30 yes. years old. Which one? She is 30 years old. She's, she's 30. 30 years old, right? Or she is yeah. 30 years old. 
Tell me the ones that has raised the hand. Tell me, tell me. I'm listening. Dígame. Uh, can you repeat the, the question? I don't understand. Okay, for example, right, I was asking, I can say that I'm, I am 30 years old, right? But if yes. you want to say you, right, that me, uh -huh. my person is 30 years old, how you will say it? Si usted quiere decir que yo, mi persona, tiene 30, mm -hmm. ¿cómo le diría? ¿Cuál pronombre utilizaría? She. She's mm -hmm. or she is, oh, right? She's. Oh, uh -huh. She is 30 years old. Awesome. Oh, you have 30 years old. Mm, be careful with that one. Uh, you have. Okay. She's 30 or years old. My Thank you, Anna. Okay, or my teacher, my teacher right? is 30, or you 30 old. years old. Years old. Exactly. My teacher, my teacher has 30 years old. Okay. Mm, Let's see is something it? here. I will... Later on, uh, we will do these exercises, but I want to show you something and I'm going to open a new one better. Okay. Let me know if you're able to see the new document. Pueden ver el nuevo documento? Yes. Or the screen? Yes? Yes. 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 Uh, awesome. So someone tell me, yeah. she, thank you very much. She has 30 years old. Be careful, because this one, it will be a complete translation from Spanish to English, right? Let me check the chat. Esta sería una completa translación de lo que sería de, in, de español a inglés. Aquí estaríamos mm -hmm. diciendo, ella tiene. Mm -hmm. 30. 30 años. Right? So, eso sería una completa translación. Pero, teacher, mire, ¿por qué no podemos utilizar has? I will explain you. Have you. and has are physical possessions. Son posesiones físicas. Las que usted tiene o las que usted utiliza con have or has. Lastimosamente, los años Jeez. no son físicos, no los podemos tocar. Entonces, es un estado de la persona. Es por esa razón que nosotros utilizamos she is, o ella está de 30 años, si se quisiera hacer la traducción. ¿Por qué razón? Porque es un estado de la persona que prácticamente va a cambiar dentro de un par de meses cuando vuelva a venir el mes del cumpleaños de la persona. Sin embargo, have and has son cosas que no cambian. In my case. Ok. I have black eyes. Yo tengo ojos negros. Entonces, ¿eso me va a cambiar? No. A menos que me pongan de contacto, sí. Pero se van a quedar conmigo, no, ¿verdad? Por más que quiera hacer así, gringuita, no puedo. Entonces, so, eso es algo que no va a cambiar en mí. O podría decir, I have curly hair, right? O she has curly hair. Ella tiene cabello eh, colocho, ¿verdad? Y le va a cambiar, sí le puede cambiar si se lo hace straight, right? Si se lo plancha, pero le va a durar solamente un par de días o por lo que el alisado le dure, ¿verdad? Hablando ya en términos cosméticos. Entonces, son cosas que no cambian, que usted posee, ¿verdad? Que usted okay. la posee. Y es por esa razón que no podemos utilizarlo con she has. Otra opción, as you were telling to me, my teacher, right? You can change the pronoun. Usted puede cambiar el pronoun. Siempre lo puede sustituir, ¿verdad? Por el nombre de la persona, or for the personal pronouns that we already know, right? Or for the pronoun personal that we already know. Questions so far up to here? Preguntas hasta aquí. Any question? No question? No, no question. No questions. No questions. No questions. Okay. Awesome. So let's continue. Continuemos entonces. Okay. So we have once again the affirmatives, but these ones are affirmatives for plurals, right? We are everyone here they are 
a couple of persons. You are, it will be in this case, a group of people, and we are going to be referring to plural, right? So this one, the pronunciation in the short form, it is weird, 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 weird. Thank you. Then we have there, 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 there. And then we have your, 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 your. Tenemos estos afirmativos, ¿verdad? Los afirmativos estos, como ustedes ya lo saben, sé que muchos lo conocen, son plurales. Nosotros, donde incluso nosotros estamos incluidos, ¿verdad? Uno como hablante se incluye. Ellos, uno que está hablando, ya no se incluye, ¿verdad? Solamente el grupo de personas. Este ya sería ustedes. Entonces, ustedes, usted tampoco está incluido, sino que es un grupo de personas en específico. You es el pronombre singular en primera persona y plural en segunda persona. ¿verdad? Eso es solamente para que ustedes lo sepan, lo tengan presente, que también se puede referir a una persona en plural. The question so far up to here. Preguntas hasta acá. No, you're okay. No, you're okay? No. no. Okay. Neither. You either. Okay. So that's good. That's really good. So the negative forms, the negative forms, I'm pretty sure you are familiar with. For example, if I wanted to say that I'm not 30, I am 25, let's say, right? So I will say I am not 30 years old. I am 25. But if you want to say that is me, the one that is saying that I'm not 30 years old, how you will say it? Si yo digo, no, yo no tengo 30, tengo 25, ¿cómo diría usted? Ella no tiene 30. You are not 30 years old. You are. She's old. not. She's, she's not. She's not. She's not. She's not. 30 years yes. old. She's not. Years awesome. Old. Because she is ella. Ella, sí. En el caso de ella o en la persona que me dijo, you are. Me voy a aprender el sonido de sus voces para aprenderme su, sus nombres también. You are, la que me dijo you are not, en este caso puede que solamente no, se estaba refiriendo a mi persona, ¿verdad? Que estábamos hablando uh -huh. solo nosotras dos. Cuando yo sí. les dije en ella, también puede ser she is not, right? Ambas la estructura está muy bien, está bien. Okay, Question perfect. so far up to here. Oh, thank you. Preguntas. No. No, no questions. No, no questions. Okay. Questions. No okay. questions. No questions. Let's no see. No question, teacher. Awesome. So mm -hmm. I know that you know the interrogatives. So we have am I, is she, she. are you, is it, is he, etc. Right? You can have are we, are they, and so on. This is will be just no questions. Which is the differences? The just no questions are asking to have a answer yes or no, right? Um, let me give you a quick example. Are you able to see this document? Pueden ver el documento? Sí? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Let's take once again the same example, right? Now we are going to do it with he. He is, let's say, 25 years old. And here we have one affirmative. Let's give the negative. He, he is, is not, not, he is not 25 years old. 25 years old. Okay. If I want to do the question. Is he, is he, is he, he, he uh -huh. 25 years old? 25 years old. Is he 25 years old? And here we have the question, right? Yes. Is he 25 years old? Yes. There we go. How do will be our answer? ¿Cómo sería nuestra respuesta? He yes, he is. Yes. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. 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 He is
There we go. You can have it like that. So the just no questions mm -hmm. as this one, las just no preguntas, they are looking for an answer that it will be yes or no. However, sin embargo, let me please. However, if we have this question, how old are you? How old are you? Hmm. I am. ¿Cuántos años tienes, right? So mm -hmm. this one is oh, an information okay. question. Oh. Es una pregunta de información. ¿Por qué? Porque ahí ya me está mm -hmm. queriendo saber. Preguntando. Y personal, ¿verdad? Algo personal. Entonces yo le digo, I am. I am. 28, I will 20. say, right? I'm 23 years old. I'm 23 years old. I'm 23 years old. I'm 43. So this, Questions get just uh, the simple fact that you give a little bit more than what is asking for. Las just no, las WH questions, como lo son estas, usted le da un poquito más de información. Son information questions. Ya le pregunta algo más, ¿verdad? Y usted las puede utilizar, oh, de muchas maneras. How is the weather, por ejemplo? How is the weather? Okay. Oh, it's very hot. It's very it's hot. hot. Yes, it's hot. Yes. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot today. Lot. So it's very hot, right? Yes, it's very hot. I'm a great with hair. Yes, it is. It's been hot the whole day. So you can use it yes. with different things, right? That you can ask for. This one, most likely, it is for situations that requires. El cómo, ¿verdad? Este how es para las situaciones que requieren el cómo o procedimientos, ¿verdad? So let's see, let's advance. Okay. Questions so far up to here. Questions? No questions? No. No questions? No, no. Okay. No questions. Okay. I have here just an exercise for you. This is a conversation between uh, Sophie and... Uh, Victor, right? Tenemos una conversación entre Sofía y Victor. So I would like to you to work individually. Um, later on, I promise that I'm going to play in groups to practice. But at this moment, I would like that you can work individually. I'm going to give you five minutes for you to scan the first conversation. Para que usted pueda ver la primera conversación, que es esta. If you want to take notes, what it will be the correct verb be according to the conversation, you are more than welcome to do it. Si usted quiere poner en sus notas cuál es el correcto be de la conversación, puede hacerlo. And then we are going to practice and check vocabulary. Ready? Y después vamos a practicar y checar vocabulario. ¿Sí? ¿Se okay. Entiende? Okay. So yes. you start your five minutes now. Empieza sus cinco minutos ahora. Let's see. It's eight thirty. If by any change someone is asking something on WhatsApp and I didn't get to realize, please let me know. Si algún momento alguien pregunta algo en WhatsApp o pasa algo y no me doy cuenta, déjenme saber. Because I have my phone here near, but I'm not always looking at it. Siempre tengo el teléfono cerca, pero no, no siempre estoy viendo. So if someone knows something right, please let me know. Si alguien te quiere entrar a la conferencia o algo le pasa y lo dice por WhatsApp y estamos en la conferencia, déjeme saber. I will appreciate it. Yes. And we are going to do the, just the first mm -hmm. exercise of the first conversation. Because... Just the first conversation. This one is uh, the whole conversation. This one. You already mm -hmm. done it? It's done? Mm -hmm. Ya está? Solo la primera conversación. Yes. Ya está? Sí? Okay. Yes, I got it. Yes. Awesome. So let's see. Let's do it together. So, hi, Victor. How, how are you? Hi, Victor. How are you? How are you? Excellent. How are you? This one. 
I am. I am all right. I am all right. How are you? How are you? How are you? Okay. This one. I am. Very I'm very 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 no. Nope. No. No. Nope. Neither. Simple, right? Who would yeah. like to participate? Yeah. That's really good. Who would like to participate? Who would like to be Sophie and who would like to be Victor? Mm. I would like to be Sophie. Me? Okay. Me, uh, who, me Victor. <laughs> who it will be Victor and who will be Sophie? I'm sorry, I don't know the names. You can tell me Victor. your name. I would like. I would like to be Sophie. Alejandra. Oh. Alejandra. I am okay. Victor. Who? Who's Astrid. going to be Astrid? Okay, so Alejandra, get it started, and Sophie too. Go ahead, Astrid too. I'm sorry. Hi, Victor. How are you today? I am all right. How are you? Uh, I'm very busy with the school. Are you studying a lot? Yes, I study two hours every night because my teacher is difficult. She is famous for giving her student a lot of homework. Hey, thank you very much. Good job. Okay. So You're just welcome. only this work, it's this busy. word is busy, right? Busy, busy. Instead of pronounce a U, pronounce I, I right? Like a I. En lugar de pronunciar, de pronunciar una U, pronuncie una I latina, la de puntito. Busy. 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 Okay. It's very busy. 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 Yes. It's very okay. Busy. I am very busy, right? Very busy. Very busy. This very one, busy. Uh, very intensifier, ¿verdad? Es un intensificador muy ocupado, ¿verdad? Very. Quiere decir que sí está ocupada la persona, right? Yes. So let's see. Someone else who would like to participate? ¿Alguien más a quien le gustaría participar? I am. Me? All right. Who is uh, me? I'm sorry, name, please. Jorge. My name is Leslie. Jorge, thank you. Jorge, you're going to be Victor, and Leslie, you're going to be Sophie. Okay. Let's go ahead, get it started. Hi, Victor. How are you today? I am all right. How are you today? How are you? <laughs> I am very busy with school. Are you studying a lot? Yes, I study two hours every night because my teacher is difficult. She is a face move for give, give me her student a lot of, of homework. Good. Thank you very much. Very good job. This one for giving, right? This one it will be giving. 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 And famous, famous, right? Famous. 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 Forgiven. Good job. Excellent job. Good pronunciation. So let's see. Let's go. Um, someone else that would like to participate, or we can move on to the second conversation. Nos movemos a la segunda conversación. Yeah, for the second. Okay. Second conversation. Okay. Let's move to the second conversation. This second conversation you will have to fill it in the correct article. What are the correct articles? The correct article so it will be either a, a or an. Mm -hmm. Yes. So please, I will give you three minutes. It's all right. Let's do it three minutes. Yes. 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 You yes. can fill it out. Okay. Yes. Go ahead. Oh, and as well, I'm sorry, this one, the, the article, the. I'm sorry. Thank you. So let's go ahead and do it. Thank you. 
I'm sorry, Miss. Yes. What is the cost? Five hundred real. What is that? I'm sorry. Real. Real. Yes. Uh, this one it is a the currency from. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that it will be from. Uh, there, one of those uh, countries like the Emiratos Árabes Unidos. Ah, okay. Es el uh, el dinero de de algunos lugares de por ahí del como de los Emiratos y esos lugares. Ah, real. okay. Yes. Thank you. But let's say dollars. Let's put dollars. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Aunque too much, right? $500. Yeah, five hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe five. Let's say five dollars. Yes. <laughs> Let's say five. <laughs> too much. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. You tell me if you are ready, no ready yet. Yes. Ready. Ready. Yes, ready. Okay. That's awesome. Licenciada. Uh, dígame. Una compañera quiere entrar, pero dice que ya no la deja, dice el link. No sé si puede ver el WhatsApp. Sí, ahorita, ahorita lo estoy viendo. Gracias. Bueno, sí, Gracias, gracias. Regálenme un segundito, voy a volver a enviárselo, espero pueda entrar y ya le vamos a avisar aquí al compañero de Haití también que nos puede echar la mano en eso. Vamos a buscar los detalles y a ver si la deja entrar. Okay. Give me just two one second, regal me un segundo. Yes, we can wait. That is a live Thank you very much. I just sent it once again and I request some help for the IT support. So I hope that she can come in once again, right? Espero que pueda, pueda entrar nuevamente ella. Vamos a ver qué nos dice. Um, let's see, let's get started then. Comencemos. Mm -hmm. okay. There is what? Uh -huh. uh, there is a uh, uh, total uh, game. Uh, uh. A football game, game. Football. at the Olympic Stadium. Stadium. Today. Today. Want, Want to go? go? Uh -huh. Sure, sure. Go. Should we need a ticket? Do we need a ticket? Okay. okay. Uh, uh, no. No, the, the game, game is free. Is free. No. 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 no, the game is free. Okay. Uh -huh. Parking cost. A parking cost. Parking cost. Parking. $5. Five dollars. Five dollars. Do I need to bring anything? Anything? Bring anything? Bring a hat? Bring, bring, bring a hat? A hat? An umbrella? Umbrella. 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 Awesome. It. Teacher, oh, what is the meaning? What is the meaning? It. It might rain. Como porque lloverá. It might rain. Puede que llueva. En ah. este caso, cuando usted le dice, mire y, y crees que llueva, y, y miran no. al cielo, ¿verdad? Todos miramos al cielo. Puede que sí. It rain. It my rain. It my rain. Vemos ah, una nubecita okay. negra, ¿verdad? Que no sabemos no, si es smog o si es una nube negra de lluvia. It my okay. rain. Posibilidad, right? Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Let's see. Questions about the vocabulary okay. or pronunciation. No. 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 Easy, right? No. Pretty simple. Just for you to remember. Sure. Bastante fácil para que ustedes recuerden. Recordemos. A, just for nouns that starts with the consonant. consonant 
and for the ones that starts with vowel, vowel. and the for something as specific. Mm -hmm. This one, right? This one, be careful. This one has two pronunciations. The. This. Okay. This one has two pronunciations, as the and the, right? So whenever we have something that starts with a the consonant, we have the C. And whenever we have something that starts with the, that it will be a vowel, we have the ocean. So tiene dos pronunciaciones diferentes. Ocean. Tenemos da para cuando comienza con una vocal, con una consonante, I'm sorry. Y the cuando okay. comienza con una vocal. Right? Una vocal. Yes. Oh, And yeah. everything it will be for something in a, spe in a specific, right? Siempre es algo específico. En cambio, mm -hmm. los otros dos son cosas aleatorias que no tienen mucha especificación. ¿verdad? Solamente sabemos que hay un juego de fútbol. ¿Quién contra quién juega? No lo sabemos. La final, ¿verdad? Este coming, coming Sunday, pero no sabemos quién va a jugar. Entonces, solamente decimos A. Ah, si ya supiéramos los jugadores, podríamos decir the football game. Uh, this one versus this one, right? So, tell me, alguien me habló. Yo. Dígame. Dice la pronunciación del, del de en da. Eh, a veces he escuchado yo más todo en canciones o a personas de habla de, 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 de habla inglés que dicen ti. ¿Cómo? Perdón, me repite. Di. Di. En lugar de decir di. Ajá. Sí, en este caso era la policía, era da en di. Entonces, sí, si comienza con vocal, usted lo puede decir di, como en esta parte que les ponía, the ocean. Si comienza con consonante, por lo general va a ser da. ¿verdad? Ah, ok, ok. Sí. No, no hay problema. Siempre que ustedes tengan una pregunta, díganme. Yo, yo no me enojo, pero usted pregunta todo lo que usted quiera. Sí. A veces se me satura el audio, porque como todos los micrófonos están activados, se me satura el audio y me, me no escucho. A usted también. Bueno, entonces le, le ponemos mute otra vez a todos y cada vez que alguien vaya hablando, pues les, le da un mute cada quien. ¿All right? ¿Estamos bien? ¿Sí? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Right. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. So let's see. Uh, I would like to have two volunteers. Me gustaría tener dos voluntarios nuevamente to perform Victor and Sophie with this dialogue. Para hacer Victor y Sofía en este diálogo. Who would like to me participate? Teacher. Me, teacher. All right. me, me, please, when you tell me me, tell me your name as well, right? So I can pick it. Me, who? Me, Alexander, teacher. Alexander, all right. So, Victor, who's going to be Sophie? Elmer. Okay, thank you, Elmer. I saw you in the camera. <laughs> I saw you in the camera. <laughs> I'm trying to pay attention to the whole camera that I have, right? So, let's go ahead. So, the microphones are yours. Okay. There is a football game at an Olympic Stadium today. Want to go? Sure. Do we need a ticket? No. Um, the game is is free, but the parking just five dollars. Do I need to bring anything? Uh, you should bring a, a hat and an umbrella because it might rain. Okay. Thank you very much for your participation. Who else would like to participate? Alguien más le gustaría participar? Me. Me. Astrid. Astrid, Me. okay. Yo. Eh? Yes. Who? Vanessa. No. Who raised your yes. hand? Yes. Dennis. Okay. Oh, Dennis. Who? Who? I'm, I'm sorry. Vanessa. I'm... Vanessa. All right. All right. So the microphones are yours. Go ahead. Okay. There is a football game at Olympic Stadium today. Want to go? Sure. Do we need a ticket? No, the game is free, but the parking costs $5. Mm -hmm. 
Do I need to bring anything? You should bring a hat. You should bring a hat and an umbrella because it might rain. Good job. Thank you very much. A plus is for you, right? Thank you very much. You did it good in the pronunciation and everything. You're really awesome. Questions so far up to here? Preguntas hasta acá? ¿Tienen más preguntas? No? No? Everything is pretty simple. Huh? Es bastante yes. simple, ¿verdad? Yes. yes. So I yeah. hope that you can remember a little bit of present simple and as well about the articles. Que puedan recordar un poquito acerca del presente simple y de los artículos también. I'm going to move on to the presentation because I have something to tell you and how we should use it. Me muevo a la presentación para que ustedes puedan ver cómo se utiliza. To say who we are, para decir quiénes somos. En este caso utilizamos el verbo be, ¿verdad? For example, Brad Pitt is an actor, right? You really know it. Uh, to talk about the weather, para hablar acerca del tiempo, como les decía, it's very cold today. This one, it doesn't make sense, right? It's very hot today. Es no es yeah. un poquito de sentido, ahorita está bastante caliente, right? So, lo utilizamos para esas dos situaciones. Aparte de eso, también lo podemos utilizar to talk about the time. Lo utilizamos para hablar acerca del tiempo. What time is it? It is, um, what? Uh, 15 minutes before nine, right? So 15 minutes antes de las nueve. To talk about a place or about a place. The Amazon River is in Canada. El río Amazonas no está en Canadá. That lo podemos utilizar para hablar de lugares también. De esas formas. De qué otra manera? To talk about how we feel. She's angry, right? ¿Cómo nos sentimos? Lo puedo utilizar con sentimientos, ¿verdad? Uh, she is happy. She's sad. To talk about oh, people's age. Oh, you are excited? Yeah. Yes. Really good. <laughs> to keep up the energy. Así se tiene que mantener la energía siempre, ¿verdad? So, to yeah. talk about people's age. También para hablar acerca de la, de la edad de las personas. Como la pregunta que yo les hacía, ¿verdad? How old are you at the beginning of the class? En que más lo podemos utilizar. To say hello. How are you? ¿Verdad? To describe things. The elephant aren't small. Lo podemos utilizar para describir cosas con un adjetivo, ¿verdad? Um, ¿Qué podemos decir? The elephants are big, right? Um, the cocodriles are dangerous. Los cocodrilos son peligrosos, ¿verdad? So you can use it with different things and adjectives, ¿verdad? No solamente con feelings, emotions, adjectives y para hablar de cosas cotidianas. Lo puede utilizar también. Veamos, ¿qué más? There we go. We have ended out with this one, right? With thank you for your attention. But we have still have 10 minutes before that we go. So before that we go, I wanted to you that can tell me if you have any question, comment, or something that you would like to improve for the next coming class that is going to be tomorrow. Este, antes de que nos vayamos, quiero saber si este, tienen alguna pregunta, eh, duda, Eh, con respecto a esto o algo que les gustaría que se pueda mejorar para la siguiente clase que es mañana, ¿verdad? Eh, los escucho. I'm open to the comment. Hola. Ah. Hola, sí, le escuchamos. Ok, bueno, en mi caso, uh -huh. la verdad que me gustó mucho la clase, fue muy interactiva y qué bueno que que varios de los compañeros participaron, eso es muy importante porque quiere decir que sí, ¿verdad? Hay interés y eso también hace como más amena la, la clase. Y no, gracias a usted también porque sí, veo que, que nos tiene un poquito de paciencia y nos corrige y eso es lo importante, que si pronunciamos mal o algo, que usted nos diga, no, eso no es así, ¿verdad? Sino que de esa manera, porque eso nos va a ayudar muchísimo. Y es súper bien, excelente, feliz, gracias. Gracias, gracias por el comentario. ¿Alguien más que quiera decirles? Estoy abierta a cualquier comentario. Usted me dice, si es para mejorar, recuerde que siempre usted puede decir algo y uno lo debe de tomar para mejorar siempre, ¿verdad? Yo siempre lo tomo así, así que los escucho. Sigan. Teacher, yo... Un placer, teacher. Gracias. Perdón, a mí me parece bien así la clase, me, me gustó bastante. Me oh. parece bien, excelente. Thank you. ¿Alguien más? ¿Algo que quieran tener para el día de, de mañana? ¿Alguna petición especial? ¿Algo que ustedes quieran saber? Ay, Ana. Sí, dígame, Ana. 
I have a question about the virtual mm -hmm. platform. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many how many times do we have to correct the exercises because I have a problem maybe with the apostrophe in All one right. exercise, okay. and I don't know how many times we can we can fix it. Um, you don't have any number of times. You can okay. do it as uh, many times as you want to. You don't have any number of tries, right, or attempts. So you can okay. do it until you get it. Lo puede hacer hasta okay. que lo termine. Yes. Okay, thank you. Any other question? Questions, questions? No. No, teacher. Uh, no. Todo bien? Yeah. All right. Very good class. Thank you. La verdad que estuvo Bye. muy bien. Todo bien. ¿Les gustó? ¿Se divirtieron? Yeah, ¿Aprendieron algo? Yeah. Sí. 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 Amazing. Sí. All right. Sí, bien sí. interactiva. Thank Muchas you. gracias. Sí. Ya saben, gracias. si ustedes aprenden, es lo más importante, ¿verdad? Eh, les voy a estar enviando la presentación al grupo de WhatsApp y también les voy a enviar eh, esta paginita. Esta paginita tiene varios ejercicios. Vamos a intentar hacerlos el día de mañana, tenerlos. Se las voy a enviar para que ustedes la, la puedan tener, ver. Y si tiene algún tiempo o espacio libre durante el día, usted la pueda, la pueda revisar. Eh, tiene todo con respecto al verbo be. Y mañana vamos a avanzar un poquito con el simple mm -hmm. present, ¿verdad? So we are going to use simple present. And I'm going to ask you just a little bit. At the beginning of the class, uh, we are going to be talking about daily routines. Al principio de la clase vamos a hablar de las rutinas diarias. So if you have some time available, prepare three sentences, two sentences, one sentence about your daily routine. Si tiene algo de espacio disponible, ¿verdad? En el tiempo, haga dos oraciones, una oración, tres oraciones acerca de su rutina diaria, ¿verdad? Eh, no tiene que ser algo tan largo, tan, 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 tan expresivo, ¿verdad? Porque yo sé que todos trabajan, tienen su, 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 su tiempo, su trabajo. Entonces, este, si tiene algún chancecito en medio de, de lonche, ¿verdad? Este, <risa> escriba ahí una tos y ya para cuando vengamos a la clase las compartimos, ¿verdad? Y así pues, mm -hmm. compartimos todos y, a, y conversamos un poco. Y les voy a enviar esta eh, al, al WhatsApp en formato de Word para que la puedan, la puedan ver, la puedan tener y la puedan explorar en el tiempo que ustedes tengan, ¿verdad? Eh, no es tarea porque no, no hay tareas acá, pero sí es algo que probablemente les va a ayudar. Okay, ok, thank you. Okay, thank you, teacher. Un thank you, Miss. Thank you so much. Thank you. My thank pleasure. You. Yes. So, what else would like to talk? We yeah. still have five minutes. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Un placer. We are still having five minutes. Nah. Someone else that would like to participate? Thank you. Sofía. Tenemos cinco minutos. Sí. Tenemos cinco mm, minutos. Right. No sé si hay alguien que quiera participar o que quiera contestar esta pregunta con el tiempo que tenemos ahorita. Okay. Sofía, what time is it? Okay. Who would like to answer it? Uh, Sofía, what time is it? 8.55. It is 8.55. It is 8.55. 8.55. 8.55. 55. Okay. Yes. What's the day today? What's the day What's the day today? Uh -huh. Monday. It today is Monday. Monday. Today's date it's, is Monday. Today it's Monday. Monday okay. 23. What about the date? Today. Today is Monday. January. Today's date is Monday, Monday, February. Monday. How was your day? Twenty fifth. What's your day? Your day, right? Do you know what is day? January. Fecha. Fecha. Ah, sí, fecha. 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 Pero esa de cita. How was your date? Ah, it was awesome. Yes. It was awesome. It was awesome. It was always. Uh, Give me a kiss on my cheek, right? Me dio un beso acá uh, en el cachete, uh, right? <laughs> o sea que ese es de cita, Lick, no es de fecha. Sí, es de cita, pero cita uh, amorosa, ¿verdad? What about the date? Cita amorosa. What y, about the date? Uh, y este... Appointment. The appointment es, um, en este caso, algo como un appointment de, de una interview de trabajo, como una cita, Ajá. pero de una entrevista de trabajo, entrevista. o con el doctor, uh -huh. Uh -huh. o con el doctor, 
Este date puede referirse al día, como lo tenemos acá, ¿verdad? Eh, que estábamos viendo, puede referirse al día o en este caso puede referirse a una cita, pero amorosa, ya de pareja. Oso de no, no, miren. O también, perdón. De miren. De miren. De miren. A una reunión sí. de, maybe, de trabajo. Sí. Podría ser. Usted le puede poner, um, en este caso, how was the meeting. How uh -huh. was the meeting. Okay. How was the meeting. Or what about the meeting. Este, what about the meeting? Ah, they tell us that we need to be on time. They tell us that we need to do our job. Nos dijeron que teníamos que estar a tiempo, que teníamos que hacer nuestro trabajo, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí le da lo, los detalles que usted quiera. Eh, meeting o también puede ser reunion. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, también you. puede ser reunion. Hay varios But, adjetivos que pueden utilizar. Dígame. Uh -huh. But me. in the... Actually, it, it was... Uh, meeting or in, for, in my case for example mm -hmm. I used to meeting you have meetings okay yes yeah. with your boss and your co-workers right uh -huh. yes your colleagues yes yeah it, it could be meeting it, it could be um, reunions depending on what do you want to express las reuniones it's like a kind of a little bit friendly right not too serious like the meetings the, the meetings las reuniones son un poquito más amigables, no tan serios como los meetings, ¿verdad? Los meetings, por lo general, you have boss, uh, you have the upper management, tiene a todo, todo el management ahí, ¿verdad? En los meetings. So the reunions are like uh, just your colleagues, sus compañeros, ¿verdad? And your boss, right? Your, your boss is like your colleague. Sometimes, yes. So it will be like that. So um, I hope that you learned something today, right, uh, with this, and we will see us tomorrow. It's already time to go. So I hope that you enjoy it. Thank you so much for your attention. Nice Have a good nice night. Nice. Rest and relax. Bye-bye. Good night. 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 Good Bye bye, take care, rest and relax. Relax and say descansing. Thank Eat you. Something. Too. Thank you. Yes, me too. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have dinner. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>